All right, now let's get into some biker rap. We uh, over here at Jim Owens Shop, Shreveport, Louisiana. Magic Touch Bayou Customs, man. You get around there, go check it out. But we're going to get into some old school biker rap for you. You're checking out Bikers in a Circle on the Internet Highways. Hope you're enjoying yourself. With Jim Owens here, he's a bandito of uh, the Streetport chapter, and uh, we're going to talk about all kinds of little different things. But uh, this is what we like to do with Big Seven Productions: we talk to old school guys, 30 years or better. You know, they lived it, they've seen the changes, uh, and uh, are teaching the up and comers what's 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 what the bike oh, lifestyle is all about. What I want to first talk to you about, oh, first of all, let me just thank you, you for having well. us here. These banditos, these bandito guys have been great, real hot, the hospitality's been super. Uh, we just had a great time. Uh, I'm at Jim's shop here in Shreveport, and uh, so w what do you guys do here? You do uh, total rebuilds, customs? Uh, Service work, just anything they've got, we uh, take care of it. Yeah. We used to handle the big dogs, but we got out of that. Uh -huh. and so tell me a little bit about this bike. Is this who's this? The bike there has a sentimental spot in my heart. I, yes. That was supposed to be my bike, and uh -huh. I had that in my head for two or three years, and didn't have the money in my wallet to fix it. But I had a brother that wanted to buy a bike, and I told him, "Let me build you one, brother." So we built this from the ground up, and, uh -huh. and uh, so it's, it's it's what I wanted, and I turned it on to him because that's what brotherhood's all about. Yeah. I got in in 1969 and got into some trouble, so then we was out for a while and it, uh -huh. I had started, we got this chapter in Shreveport going about uh, right at six years ago. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's, uh, that's quite it's a while. It's kind of like we had the Discovery Channel stop by because Billy Lane and them broke down. And yeah. Nicky Boots and all of them and they, the other guys he was commonly referred to. But right. Uh, I told Billy, I said, you know, I said, I haven't anything against some of these new guys. I used to really have a hard feelings against them. Yeah. These, you know, we call them rubs and yuppies and all that. They do have the motorcyclism side of it in them. So I do have that that I can fall back on with them. But I used to really think, what the hell? These guys haven't been through what we've been through. Right. They, they don't know anything about why it's 1%, or anything about territory. Right. The changes that's been made, the people that have died, the people that are in prison, you know, and it, it's, it's like they come in here and, and want to take over things, and, and you're trying to tell them and teach them that, hey, there's a different side of this yeah. uh, than no. Uh, what y'all are, are, are looking at in here, and, and I do have to kind of give them that, but I told Billy, I tell a lot of them, you know, I was doing this before y'all were shitting yellow. Absolutely. And when I told Billy uh, that I had gotten in the bandits in 1969, he said, 69? And I said, yeah, and he said, I wasn't even born then. <laughs> now, Billy, yeah. I appreciate you doing old school stuff, but that's exactly what I meant. Right. You, you wasn't even shitting yellow when we were doing it. Yeah. Yeah. But I said, we didn't have catalogs to order stuff out of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We built the things that we had, well, chop pipes. Yeah, absolutely. It's just uh, times have changed, but I mean, the 60s up to now. You know, and. Uh, uh, the younger guys coming into it now, or is, uh, they need to know the history. That's it. They need to know a little bit why you wear this or why you do this. And, and believe it or not, the, the smart ones that listen to you guys uh, figure it out, you know, because you've been you. there, They're done the ones that. that make it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they all need to know the, the history and everything, but beside that, it's all motorcyclism. We're all out here to help each other. Yeah. They do not realize, that most of us club people know that, that the federal government, the law, we're going to be just like the Indians. We're going to, they're going to just take us out if we don't start working together. Right. We have already tried to, to put things together with several other clubs in, in the line of communications. Uh, if, if, if these, even the, the yuppies, 
They need to understand. They need to come to COC meetings. Uh -huh. They don't have to belong to a club to become to come to a COC meeting. We all need to be educated. Every we're not too old to learn. We all can learn something. They they need to come and find out. You know why we need to get registered to vote. To to we need a biker discrimination law. We don't have but about three states that has that. Mm -hmm. I can't even go to a mall down here wearing this bandana. But I can go in that damn mall and buy this bandana. Right. It doesn't make sense. So if I can't go into a bar wearing a patch, whether it be H.A., Bandio, Top Hatter, a, a Grey Ghost, whatever, you know, it's, it, but if they'll stick together, we can defeat these laws. Right. We can stay in existence. And it's not a territorial thing anymore. Hell, we're, we're all together. We, yeah. There's some states we've got four and five patches, different yeah. patches in. Yeah. Oiga, señor, we are federales, you know, the mountain police. If you're the police, where are your badges? Badges? We ain't got no badges. We don't need no badges. I don't have to show you any stinking badges. All right, now we'd like to thank Jim Owens and the boys down there in Shreveport, Louisiana, and also the Bandito Racing Team. For more cool stuff like this, check out Bikers in the Circle, Big7Productions.com.